once in a while we get to do something cool and work with one of these manufacturers to release or unveil one of their new models and this one is extra cool actually first trip to sea hunter marina here at manatee bay in the florida keys and we're going to unveil their brand new 38 cts it's going to be the first time we lay eyes on it and through our social media platforms the first time a lot of you guys get to see it so uh, definitely a pleasure for us to work with these guys and we look forward to showing you much more if you find value in our videos please subscribe to our channel that's how we keep the motor running thank you guys for the support always let's go check out this 38 cts as you walk in you can see there's a ton of sea hunters obviously laying around pretty creative sales office right there to my left got jason shooting some b-roll and here it is the brand new 38 cts quad 450rs same 12 foot beam as the 41 but they actually put a smaller or more streamlined console so the amount of deck space you have on this boat is out of control looks massive pass through second station on this one and we're going to jump through give you a closer look and get our first sea trial in here today let's have some fun right off the bat is how quick we jumped on plane literally two three seconds but something else for you wahoo guys we're on plane here at about 14 miles an hour it's relaxing looks like it's built for this sort of thing an hour I'm gonna see do my best to record it see if you guys can see it check out that radius that was tight Might have been two boat lengths and not even in diameter not bad take a look at how quick this boat jumps on plane and show you mark go ahead there it is speed that you can hit wahoo trolling whatever you want to do 13 14 miles an hour is pretty crazy for a catamaran
can't tell in the video because you never do but it is choppy out here you can see how milky the water is definitely a good breeze and we're eating it up on this 38 cps Looking for that rough water and we found it this 38 cts sliced and diced with absolutely no problem quad 450rs is an insane combination this thing is a pure rocket ship quad 300s is probably all you need for this it's going to run as hard as you want be a little bit more economical price wise but this thing is just insane with this setup right here so we are here on the brand new 38 CTS from Sea Hunter Boats and I have none other than Marky Berta to walk us through. So thank you for taking the time. We appreciate the opportunity to be among the first to see this thing. Very exciting and very impressive. So we're going to start at the transom, the quad 450Rs. Let's go ahead and walk back there and work our way forward. You take the lead and we'll follow along. Yeah, so on the first haul right here, we did a quad 450 Merc Racing. We're getting about 82 miles an hour out of it, light on fuel. But right now we just hit about 76, 77 around there. That had about, you know, 500 gallons of fuel in it. So we're pretty happy with the, with the performance of the first set of props that we've put on the boats. 40 miles an hour, we're getting just shy of one mile per gallon uh, on the fuel burn side. Um, obviously with the 300s, it'll be a much better um, economical setup. Right, and these uh, things have tremendous power. We were yeah, we were doing 30 miles an hour, and he would just tap them and literally, you yeah, know, throw me back into my seat. So crazy torque. Can't speak more highly about the 450Rs and just Mercury yeah, that, all the way. That new V8 platform, whether you, you have the 300 or the 450, it's an, an incredible Insane, yeah. platform. All right, one thing you notice too, you see when Marky's standing there, this dive platform down the center. One thing I notice is how close it is to that water level if you're diving jumping in and out of the water you want that thing down where, where that is and it's one of the ones that have caught my attention on a catamaran some of those we notice are just yeah, that, a foot that, out of the water that dive you know? door is a great you know deal and and it's easy access to the water but on a catamaran you're so high out of the water that you put in a dive door on this you know it doesn't a make a lot of sense to the water line yeah. so back here we have our pull out ladder that slides out here and, oh yeah um, you know you're level with the water so Makes That's awesome. Getting in and out very easily. Um, when you're going to land a fish right down the middle, makes it super easy. We also have these really cool uh, transom lights back here. So when you're pulling in at night or if you're trying to land a fish at night, you can light up the whole uh, back way right here. And very nice. And flush mounted in the back of the cap. Cool. Yep. All right. 
work our way up. We have some uh, 55 gallon live wells on both sides. They are dual plumbed. So you have a, a backup live well and a standard live well. That all feeds off this pump box that's inside here. So it's all stainless steel pump box. Uh, one through hole fitting, super easy rigging. Um, you see in the bilge area here, everything is all acrylic, all finished off. So you can fit five gallon buckets down inside here, you know, store some stuff, some cast nets, some uh, stern anchors. Everything's very easy to get to. All of our pumps are very accessible, mounted on the walls. Real quick, tell us about this. Uh... Yeah, so uh, you'll see throughout the entire boat, we uh, line everything in carbon fiber. Uh, not only is that a weight savings, but also heat isn't transferred through carbon fiber very well. So if you feel the outside of the hatch, you can feel how it's hot from the sun and you feel how cool it is on the inside on the carbon fiber. Yeah. So carbon fiber is a really good um, and heat barrier. And improves uh, the overall strength yeah. of, the, of the structure yeah, itself. Yeah, absolutely. Part. And, and then, you guys put that, I, I mentioned it early because you're going to see it throughout this, this walkthrough. You guys put that just about everywhere on these boats. Everywhere, yeah. So the whole hull is a, is a blend between um, fiberglass and Kevlar, which makes up the structure of the hull. And then any small parts and stuff we can do with uh, carbon fiber, then we do a carbon fiber. Um, going back here to the bait wells, I forgot to mention earlier, we have uh, pitch bait wells back here. These just gravity feed off of the actual live well, so there's no pump inside there. And then uh, when you're ordering the boat, you can cut this out and we can do a full blown tuna tube that'll feed off pumps. So you have oh, both okay. options when you're building the boat. Very nice. All right, let's continue our way. Yeah, obviously this rocket launcher is a must have when you're kite fishing, any tournament yep. fishing. You can fly, you know, six lines off of that thing, makes it super easy to fish. You know, we're on a 38 foot boat, so we still have plenty of room back here. You can walk around the pedestal, uh, easy access through the sides of the boat. Got a aft facing cooler back here, foam injected, foam insulated. So it'll hold the ice. Freezers are optional, you know. It's a huge you know, cooler too. It's a huge cooler. You can do dividers inside there, kind of split up your drinks and your food, what have you. Obviously the back facing seat's a huge plus. Got a nice little foot, foot rest here when you're sitting down, yeah. making the long trips. Oh, kite fishing, you can sit yeah. down and relax yeah, while you you're just- man, man all your rods you know, right here. Exactly. Makes you don't have so to be standing easy. up. It couldn't be more comfortable than this right here. Lion hits, I mean, you're right on it. Yep. Uh, we got a cool little tackle center here. Um, leader holder, you know, you got your Plano boxes slide out, some little catch-all trays around there. Your little lip on here too, so when you have your trays out, they can't slide off there in rough seas. Oh yeah, good Makes idea. It super nice. Everything's lockable as well, so you can lock everything up when you get back to the dock at night. So you're not trucking all your stuff back and forth. Very nice, okay. Uh, moving forward to the captain's chairs here. This is an option, you can do a triple man bolster here, or you can do like the standard bench sheet. You get a nice armrest, nice fold down bolsters across and when you flip this thing forward there's also storage behind here and this is where all of our battery switches are at. Oh wow. So all of your 12 volt battery switches are right here easy to get to and then we have our 110 volt panel that's over there on that side. So you're not trying to crawl down inside a hole or trying to find a battery switch you flip the seat up and yeah. easy access. Makes life nice. I didn't even know that thing was under there. Yeah. So in the helm area here, we have dual 8617s. This is our standard layout, the carbon fiber inlay. There's a piece that clips inside here that you can lock up at night with uh, two latches on it. Or we have the option to do a flush mount system where you have no e-box, you can just mount everything on the outside of the dashboard. So customer preference at the end of the day. There's actually enough room in here to put four cup holders in here, five cup holders, throw your phones and all your extra stuff you're trying to get rid of. So I'm a huge fan of the E-Box. Yeah. And again, we do the whole carbon fiber inlay on everything. So makes it nice. See, this one has a pass-through. Yep, there's a stand-through on, on this model. Uh, that's also an option. It saves you from having to get a tower. So if you have any bridge clearance issues or anything, you can just walk up the console and you can drive from upstairs. There's a full driving station pot up there, throttles, yeah. steering wheel, GPS chart plotter. So full-blown station up there. Yeah, and for those of you that haven't actually driven a boat with one of these just that extra you know four yeah. four and a half feet of of i guess distance from where you're standing on the deck to on top of this console makes, yeah, it makes, it, makes night a and difference. day difference once you start driving a boat with this i mean you don't want to get yeah, you don't want to get sure. away from it and really going to like a, an actual moreland tower where you're standing on top of the t-top you're not getting that much more sight visibility right unless and you're, you're adding like, extra yeah, piping exactly. you're adding extra height yeah 
So, this so is, this is great a option and it's, great it's gained option. popularity. I'm seeing it more and more on all, yeah. you know, smaller boats to larger boats. Yeah, absolutely. Let's pop in here. Check, yeah, go in the look. console. Uh, again, it's all finished off. Uh, no rough fiberglass anywhere. We got some of our... This is our storage, storage, storage space here. right now, but... We have our whole 12 volt panel inside here that's uh, mounted behind that acrylic there. Room for a head. So a head is an option? Head's an option, yep. All the boats come pre-plumbed for it, so if you, if you ever get a Sea Hunter, you know, after the fact, oh, you know, it, it's, all, it's all pre-plumbed, yep. Okay. Yeah. Nice thick door. <laughs> yeah, very nice door. So right here midship, we have our uh, rod lockers or fish boxes. So the great thing about a Sea Hunter is the whole boat's completely foam injected. So no matter what box you have in the boat, it can always be a fish box. So it's not like we, you know, foam, foam fill one and not the other. The whole hull is completely foam injected. Let me show you the size of this thing. It's pretty large. <sighs> I'm just going to lay down in this. And it goes pretty far inside the hull as well. <laughs> no, <laughs> I can almost put my arm straight yeah. over this way. I mean, this thing is huge. Yeah, it's, it's a big box. It's great to have is storage, you know, fish yes. box, rod locker, whatever you're going to use it for. And as if that wasn't enough, Jason, you're standing on... There's another fish box. Another fish box. <laughs> Again, all foam ejected, foam insulated. You put ice in that thing, it's going to last quite a bit. Yeah. I mean, you'll get five to six days out of that box, which is putting ice in it. Yep. Those long, you know, trip to sea islands and stuff like that. Yes. Retention of, of ice is huge. This and is we'll the coolest get to part. This. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the uh, forward lounge chair um, option uh, with a 12 volt cooler compressor. So we actually wrap the entire box in coolant line. So the entire box um, around the edges and around the bottom is completely wrapped in copper line. So it'll get down to about 30 degrees and, and stay that way. I put that ice in this boat probably on late Thursday, early Friday morning, and it's still there. Today's so, Monday, by today's the way. Today's Monday, by the way. <laughs> Just so you, yeah, you guys can it's been understand. There a while, and it's, it hasn't melted at all. It's still dry and it's still hard. So. It'll oh, last. Once you get to that last bit of ice, that usually you yeah. know just disappears and nothing flat. Yep. That thing is you know solid as a rock. Yep. Awesome. And again, I'm, I'm sure you guys noticed in the front here. There's no step up here, so you have a nice uh, fishing platform. Nice deck space. Yeah, tons of room up here. Tons of room. And, and you, the, you mentioned something about the like the console being a little slimmer than the 41. Yeah. So what we did on the on the 38, we basically kept the same 12 foot beam, and we put a little bit uh, smaller of a console. So instead of you having uh, triple screens inside there, we cut about 15 inches of length off the console to give you much more walking space on the sides here. Uh, you still can comfortably sit two people here. You know, I'm almost six foot and you know, it's, it's very comfortable. You got armrest built in here, cup holders, all your rod storage on the side here. So you can load this thing up with rods and still sit comfortably in the middle of it. Yeah. Makes it, makes it nice. It seems like this boat is built. I mean, you can use it for the family thing. You've been doing it. Yeah, you know, sent me some pictures teasing me, yeah. barbecuing and stuff Barbecue, like that. Yeah, 12 but, people uh, on board. There's plenty of room up yeah. here. Yeah, but this thing is built to fish. I mean, yeah. if you're kite fishing, tournament fishing, any of that sort of thing, yeah. the amount of room you have on this is, is incredible for a 38 footer. And like you mentioned, all the way down to the transom, all the way up to the bow here, plenty of room to fight fish, have multiple angles, anglers here, not bumping into each other. It's just a, you know, a big 38. Yeah, it's a big, big platform. Yeah. And also on the T-top, I didn't cover that. that. That's our Key West style hardtop. That's also an option. We do offer a full size hardtop. If oh, okay. would like, but it just gives it a little bit of a sportier look and you can clear the rod tips on the side of the console without having the holes through the hardtop. Right. So that's also an option as well. Moving forward in the anchor locker, you know, oh, pretty, yeah. pretty simple. We did three hatches across it, but it's just one huge compartment inside here. So you have a spot here for your anchor. Um, obviously you can do an option for a windlass. And then um, on the sides here, you have more side storage here as well for any more dock lines or anything else you need inside the boat. It's a pretty, pretty large area up inside there. Yeah, no shortage of storage space, fishing space. You got yep. wet sounds throughout. Yeah, We'd wet like sounds to mention throughout. Them as well. Yep, a uh, great sounding speaker. They have an um, incredible warranty. Very, very clear. We do mostly wet sounds, but obviously, you know, when you build a Sea Hunter, you're building it from scratch, so you can pick whatever you want as far as the options go on that. Okay. You want to get into uh, like rough, rough pricing? What are they looking at in something like this? Yeah, rough pricing on this boat, you're going to be, you know, in the low to mid 600s. Depends on how you rig it out and then, you know, go up from there. Okay. Yep. Obviously, all these are built to each owner's specs, so 
it's tough to give pricing. I get that question a lot. Mention yeah. pricing, mention pricing, but yeah, one boat so can be completely options, different. Yeah. Ju yeah, just going from the 300s to the 450s is an astronomical, you know, change in price. So, right. you know, how the, how this boat is rigged out today is, will be, you know, in the mid 700s. Yeah, the way it's rigged now. All right. So, all you can do is reach out to the guys at Sea Hunter, build a boat out, find out what your boat is worth, and that's the best way to get pricing and. Mark, thank well, you very much. It, I appreciate yeah, the dude. time. We've had a lot of fun. Hope you guys yeah. enjoyed this. And if you find value in our videos, please subscribe, share them with your friends and family. Anyone that would be interested in seeing this boat, pass it along. We definitely appreciate it. And thank you to the guys at Sea Hunter for working with us and being the first to unveil this beautiful 38 CTS.